You've no doubt seen this before on the channel. It's the trinocular microscope that I have reviewed in Vlog 282 and I've also done a bunch of follow-up videos since um, on how to improve the camera system. This comes equipped with an LED ring lamp to illuminate the working surface and if you've used a setup like this for soldering you've no doubt experienced the reflections you get from the shiny surfaces like the PCB FR4 material especially when you start adding flux into the mix and I'll overlay some images so you can get a sense of what I'm talking about but basically since the ring light is shining light right from where the Barlow lens is there are these annoying reflections. Today I want to show you an alternative lighting system that will help uh, go around this problem. This is a system with two individual LED lamps mounted on goosenecks and having these uh, flexible gooseneck tubes allow you to position the lamps at an angle that would avoid those uh, nasty reflections. This product was provided for free by banggood.com for the purpose of this review and there will be a link in the description of the video to the product page if you'd like to check it out. The two lamps are rated for 3 watts each. The color temperature is called probably something around 6000 Kelvin and the light output is adjustable with this uh, potentiometer which is located on the control box. The lamp features a lens system so the light output is concentrated in a spot which is desirable so that's a good feature of the product. You'll not have that light output spilling all over the bench it will be concentrated on your working area. The gooseneck part is detachable they have used these industrial type connectors through which they feed power to the LEDs but also double as mechanical attachment to the control box. I think that's an interesting use of what looks like off-the-shelf connectors. The electronics, which basically mean an LED driver, are housed inside this metal can which has a couple of mounting brackets and you get a couple of different uh, shaped shapes and sizes in the box and this is generally uh, designed to attach to the uh, vertical stand that most microscopes have. The system is powered by 5 volts DC and it comes with the required adapter included in the box. There is no particular manufacturer mentioned on this product and I have seen other models around which feature the same gooseneck system, the same connectors, the same LED projectors but with a uh, different style uh, electronics box. I'm sure that by now everyone wants to see if this really solves the problem or not so I've got the uh, lights installed on my microscope. As it turns out, they don't include the proper size of screws in the box. So the, the long screws are too long and they kind of rub against the electronics box. So I'll, I'll have to uh, get some shorter screws for the bracket and for the ones that actually hold the control box to the bracket. Uh, they include another pair of very long screws which is kind of silly because you only need a couple of millimeters for that mounting spot. So I supplied those from my own stash. I have the lights turned on uh, on uh, full brightness and I have the two lamps adjusted to shine at about I don't know uh, 45 degrees angle to the working surface. As you can see from the image it is much better than before. I still have the flux on the board and I get almost no reflections from the PCB. I can see the area I'm working on much clearer now. And here is a side by side comparison with what we had before and this shows it even more clear. So clearly this type of lamp solves the problem I was having with the ring light and since the lamps are projector type they have lenses they can shine the light from a distance to the uh, working surface so that means they will not get in your way when you're in here with uh, tweezers with the soldering iron working on your board. I also want to take a peek inside at the electronics but I'll start with something uh, easy. I think the uh, LED projector system unscrews like uh, any other LED flashlight. So maybe we can take a look at the LED they're using. So personally I haven't seen this type of uh, rectangular package for LEDs before but I'm sure some of my uh, viewers will recognize this LED. 
and just for confirmation there is nothing inside this tube there's just the wires running through as we'll see later when i measure the temperature with a uh, thermal camera this uh, chunky bit of aluminum is what keeps the led cool i've left these running for one hour in an ambient of 27 degrees celsius and here is an image taken with the thermal camera the housing of the leds stabilized at about 40 to 41 degrees celsius uh, which is not bad at all considering these are passively cooled so this is about as much as i can pull this uh, pcb out of the box without desoldering the wires and this is actually much simpler than i expected there's just an LN324 quad op-amp and a couple of MOSFETs driving the LEDs. So think about the electronic dummy load circuit where you have an op-amp and a uh, shunt resistor. And, well, this is that replicated on two channels, one for each LED. And uh, this op-amp is basically monitoring the current through a uh, output resistor, which is this one and uh, you have one of those for each of the LEDs and it is then adjusting the uh, uh, gate voltage to the MOSFETs to regulate the current. So now to give you my final thoughts on this, this system currently sells for about $113 and I think that's too much for the hardware you get and that would be my biggest complaint with this. Luckily, I've been in contact with Banggood and they accepted to offer a coupon for my viewers, which I will put in the description below. And by using this discount coupon, you can get the product for $86.99. That's a discount of $26, which brings the price to something more realistic that I can recommend getting. If you're having trouble with light reflections from the LED ring light which comes as standard, this system will help you overcome that but just know that you're kind of paying a premium for that. The LEDs are not actually 3 watts and the constant current driver is a simple linear one which in my opinion should count as an advantage because you get zero switching noise. So those are the things that you need to consider before purchasing this. As usual, you'll find links for the product in the description below the video. I encourage you to check out the product page. You can support the channel on Patreon, which, by the way, I recently did a giveaway exclusive to my Patreons, so join me there to get exclusive access. Let me know what you think about these lights in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.